What's going on, Pack? Aqua here. Glad to bring you guys a Town Hall 9 Go Ho today. This was an attack from Last War. It was Van's attack. Did a great job. I did a base scout, made a video on this before, and Van executed it perfectly. So, congrats, man. It was an awesome three star. Definitely had to get it on the channel. So, uh, we're just going to go through this real quick again, and I'll show you guys where we go over the plan and actually explain kind of why. Um, I had you create the funnel the way I did, Van. Um, so if you guys don't know, for anybody who's watching, at Town Hall 9, this is basically just a, a Town Hall 9 hog. At Town Hall 9, you have to have, a, you have to do a go-ho. Meaning, um, you have to send in a golem and a kill squad to take out the enemy queen before you hog the base. You have to do it. You cannot hog a base consistently successfully without taking out the enemy queen you have to take out the enemy queen so that being said this base um the plan was oh was already drawn there the plan was to have van send in a golem here two wall breakers right behind it gets into that compartment um then he drops a wizard on this army camp and a wizard on this army camp um after that as soon as those goes down he's dropping his king his queen and the rest of his whiz on this builder's hut right here. And the reason being for that, he's taking out these buildings. This builder's hut is the only building left pulling um, the king and the queen into the mortar. Um, and he has to put those heroes down quick because if he doesn't, and that goes down, say the mortar goes down really quick. Um, if he drops his king, like if he spawns it like right here or his heroes like out here, they might take a walk and go up to this elixir collector or go down here to this elixir collector. Um, and that's going to screw the whole entire raid. And the reason why I didn't have you cre um, create the funnel any wider is because if you look, um, this look at the range of this archer tower. Um, you can probably get that whiz. Like if you put a whiz like up in this army camp like right here, you probably could get it to hit that army camp and stay out of range and hit this elixir collector as well. But... You're going to lose that whiz because he's going to go in here. Um, and being that we didn't have a rage in the core, that I didn't have you bring one, you needed all your wizards to go funnel into that core or else the CC kill was probably going to go bad. And he did end up just barely getting the CC kill. It was just enough, so it worked out perfect. Um, normally, I would have somebody create a wider funnel. Um, as you see the range of this Archer Tower too. you can't get to this Elixir Collector. If you can create a wider funnel and get rid of all these buildings and the mortar and that's still up, you can wait. You can drop all you can drop your queen after you drop your golems and your wizard. You can wait to drop your king. You could put the jump spell here and you could just wait and wait until you see that queen come out on that golem, then you drop your king. And he'll go right in here and take that jump spell and go right up to the queen. And what that does waiting on your king is that allows the CC troops, the enemy CC troops, not to lock on your king. And your kill squad takes out the CC troops along with your queen. And then your king comes in and kills the queen. And he's at full health. And he does more tanking in the core. So that's ideally what you usually want to do. That's what I would try to do. But on this base, the funnel was hard to create. So that's just just wanted to explain that to you, Van. That's exactly why I had you do why I had, what I had you do. Okay. So anyway, um, back to it. He has his golem. Gets his wizards there. That goes down. Drops a perfect jump right here. Connects to the expo. The expo goes down. The golem goes into the core. King comes out and takes out the queen. And then he starts on his hog part. Now that the queen's down, he can start on his hogs. Now, the pathing in this base works out because if you look, after all the kill squad goes through here, all of these buildings that I'm Xing out are down. So now you've got to think about the pathing of your hogs. And... It actually becomes pretty easy because this archer tower ends up going down. I have Van send in one hog, test hog, right here. Just to pre-trigger that giant bomb if it's there. So he sends in one hog and then he sends in like four more. That takes out this archer tower and this wizard tower. After that, look at what this does. Um, look at the pathing of this base. I'm just going to make this funnel. Van's going to send all his hogs in on this mortar right here. And they're just going to go clockwise around the base that way he has time to plan where his heals go he looks for spots like here where there could be giant bombs he puts a heal down here he puts a heal down here where there's all this point defense all those defenses and there's a spot for a giant bomb and then he has a heal left up for here 
where there could be giant bombs. So that works out perfect. Um, he places his heels great, patient on him, um, and it just it ends up working out great. So uh, that's just kind of a, a go ho with a one finger drop on the hogs there. So uh, I don't think I have any. The only other thing I have to add to that is when you do when you when you are doing this attack and your golems in the core and your kill squads in the core, you almost want to immediately start on your hogs because all this stuff that's in the core, like a golem in here and your king and your queen and your kill squad, they're all tanking for. Look at all the defenses. It's tanking for this, this archer tower, this archer tower. If you wait until your kill squad dies to see what goes down, you're losing all that tanking, and that is a big, big thing. I mean, this expo is locked on to everything in the core. I mean, the, the sooner you can start your hogs and the higher level golem you have going in, if you can get that golem to stay up, it that really helps with keeping your hogs up. So just wanted to point that out there too. Don't ever just wait to see what goes down um, in the core. As soon as you see your king walk on the enemy queen, you know you're good. Go with your hawks. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess I'll just clear this out of the way and let the replay rip. Got a little sound here. And look how perfect he was with those heroes, getting those down real quick there. All the whiz behind there. Just a, dude, you did, you did a perfect job. I mean, that could not have went much better. Perfectly pay, placed jump. See how the CC troops do lock on your king. That's what I was talking about with waiting on that king. See, and now he's already starting on the hogs. Could have maybe went a little earlier, but still, it hey, works out great. Look at that. Look at all of those hogs. Perfect heal right there. That bomb goes off. He's got the heal right there after it. I mean, you're going to see he runs into a double giant bomb at the top. <laughs> and they, he pre-triggers him one at a time, thank God. But, I mean, talk about a picture-perfect attack. As you see, when you look down at troops available, he still he kept three whiz. Always want to keep at least three whiz for cleanup. And you just see him put that one whiz down there on the side. He's starting to deploy him. Perfect attack. Lost a big chunk of hogs there, but still enough to get it done. And then it's cleanup. So how sweet is that? I mean, that that was sweet. That was just a sweet attack from seeing my plan on it, and you you, you just executed it perfectly. Love to see like I love to see stuff like this. So um, anytime late's doing cool hogs attacks or or nines, um, not even just hogs, just any attacks like this, like these these uh um, hybrid war comps. I love showing these attacks. So. You guys, you guys make them work, and I'll bring them. I'll put them on the channel. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll see you guys back over. We'll pack.